What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. It is 6pm on Friday and there is a new season. Check out the new season objectives and rewards. The fact that it's the foot central tab here is quite exciting. Hopefully the new season is very good. I didn't gain a single point of experience from the old season. I was hoping, I tweeted out today that I hope EA make the new season just something fun and incredible. It is bound to be the last season of the game you can't see it because it's behind my face cam but it's 42 days long which will take us all the way up to fifa 21 i was really hoping that every tab would have been a player or a pack that was good you know like a 90 team of the season pack or uh you know the 590 plus player pack or you know literally just like a team of the season pack or instead of a 93 lone drogba an actual icon pack something like that sadly um it seems like the season is going to be another copy paste. Uh, this time, Drogba is being one of the icons. Hullet and Pele, another lone Pele. There is a lot more packs here um, instead of Tifos and such. The gold pack, a jumbo premium gold pack, a two players pack, another jumbo premium gold pack, another jumbo premium gold 26 pack, a couple more celebrations, um, another Jumbo Premium Gold 26 pack, a small Prime Gold Players pack, and then a 93 Douglas Costa. Storyline Douglas Costa, five star, four star. So he's got an upgrade on that weak foot. Um, a, a cam position as well, which is quite nice. It's not a terrible card either. His dribbling's real nice. Reactions and composure a little low, but we are literally at the stage of the game where it doesn't matter all that much. His pace is great. His passing's good. His physical is very nice. And uh, his... Um, his finishing is still terrible. It would have been nice if they gave him a little boost there. But the 5-star, 4-star is quite nice. And he obviously links to a whole bunch of people. There's also a 92 Eric Bai in there. 3-star, three 3-star, three medium high work rates. And a very, very good defender. Uh, 75 stamina, but for centre-backs, nowhere near as relevant as any other position stamina. Um, his strength and aggression is sensational. His pace is very good. His defending is very, very good. Um, and his passing is quite good as well. That is a very nice card. Even though Douglas Costa's higher rated, I personally think out of the two so far, Eric Bai is the uh, the better player. And then there's a 94 rated Nagbe. Now, the reason why this guy is good is because there are a lot of very good American players. He's coming in. This is a mid-season player coming in at 94 rated. Four star, four star. Brilliant stats. Um, you know, you can play him genuinely anywhere because of that four star, four star. You could play him as a striker. With a sniper chem style, you can play him as a winger, as a cam, as a CDM, as a centre back. You literally got anywhere you like with this guy. He doesn't have any traits that are relevant, but uh, that's not too bad. So there are more packs here: prime election player pack, premium gold players pack, mega pack, a ball, which is a bit of a weird ball. Um, another rare election players pack, steampunk ball. That's a pretty cool ball. Um, the R9 Ronaldo loan. Uh, prime gold players pack again and another prime gold players pack so they've definitely upped the amount of packs which is good for sure um wow that oh wait are they transfer players here no because cost is still before so there's a 96 hakimi ziech there um there's pele tifo a 50k pack the ribbon dance celebration a 96 ziech he has flare trait outside the foot shot trait he has five star, four star, so they've given him a big upgrade. We'll go into Footbin and have a look on these cards. This is a great card. This is it's so sad that it's going to take you so long to get to this card because if you could just get access to this card like at your own pace as quick as you could, this would be brilliant. 99 stamina, great physicals in general, insane dribbling, insane passing, insane shooting. His pace is great. Obviously, being at Chelsea in the Premier League is absolutely fantastic. There's also a 95 striker, Gareth Bale. Four star, four star on this Gareth Bale as well. This is a tough one for me because I do like the look of this card. Four star, four star. His stamina's all right for an attacker. His dribbling's very good. His balance is a little bit low, but much like Cristiano Ronaldo, it's not too much of an issue. His shooting's amazing. His pace is amazing. His pass is amazing. That is a very good card. 95 rated, 96 uh, ZH. And then a prime or moments icon player pack as the third one. I, although I asked for some packs and such, I still think personally another player here would have been better suited, and the you know the pack could have been level twenty nine instead, um, because these players are nice. I, I like the fact that you can get a ninety six rated or a ninety five rated at the final. 
I like the fact that you can get a 94 rated um, from the mid-season. Usually you can get the, the mid-season player the start of week two. So next Friday is usually the time where you're able to get up to that level 15. Let me know who you guys will go for if you, and, and if this is enough to make you play. You know, that 95 bail and 96 ZH, is it enough to make you play or not? Um, in terms of objectives, we've now got the star signing, a 96 rated Sané premium squad building challenge Sané. Wait, so the group reward is an SBC? Does that mean he's got like a, a higher rated one? Assist in two separate squad battles matches. Assist and score in two separate rivals matches. Score 10 goals in rivals matches using Bundesliga players. Score in six separate rivals wins using German players. And for the reward, you get a 96 premium SBC Sané. That, for me, is brilliant. Very, very easy and an absolutely sensational card. Of course, we can't look at his... Um, in games from this screen we'll have to wait till we get onto footbin 50k pack and some other packs for uh, some foot 21 rewards again that are just typically uh terrible and then your standard rewards so hopefully there's more of what's to come with this star signing here with this 96 leroy sanning hopefully they've upgraded his uh weak foot and skill moves as well they have absolutely f fully given up on the um the other the other content there let's see what else is here so a Ferran Torres to City. So this, you know what I said to you guys? I was expecting stuff on Friday because they started giving the preseason stuff now. This is now that those, the transfers and the players that they've changed and such that are going to now be getting these special cards. So they've given a premium SBC, Ferran Torres. He's 94 rated. He doesn't have any traits. He's four star, four star, which is nice. His aggression is super low, which is a valuable stat in FIFA 20. Um, but the rest of his card is very nice you know his reactions are a little low but his shooting is great his pace is great his passing is great it's a man city player um that's quite nice it only requires one squad as well which is quite good and that squad is an 83 rated with 50 chemistry and one premier league player that's really easy to put together so kudos to ea for that one um is there anything else there another pre-season challenge the tiago the de bruyne the antonio the icon upgrade the team of the week upgrade the 83 upgrades that Sadly, seems to be it. Um, so a whole new season, guys. But what what I would say is this, the same old FIFA. So there's a preseason loan gift with some team of the season players. And preseason is here. The third set of Foot 27 preseason rewards is here. Over the next two weeks, players will have the opportunity to earn rewards in Foot 21, including an 80-plus attacker pack, midfielder pack, defender pack, a goal pack, and the team of the year premium kit, all untradeable. Be sure to check SBC and objective descriptions. For me personally... It, the 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 reward you get for FIFA 21 hasn't so far been enough to convince me to play FIFA 20 to get that reward. You know, these loan players, these players on five games or seven games loans, they're just not great, not good enough. You know, like I just personally not really, really interested in it. And even though some of the rewards to get those FIFA 21 rewards are... Or some of the objectives to get the FIFA 21 rewards are like fairly simple to do. It still hasn't enticed me enough, which maybe that's my bad. Maybe I should be uh, working a little bit harder to get those FIFA 21 rewards. Because even though you, they're untradeable and they're more than likely going to be irrelevant by the time it comes around, it's still fair to say um, that they could be useful. So here we go with the new players. We've got these new players here. Um, we've also got a Gareth Bale and the Nag Bay card, which I don't think is here either. So they haven't got Gareth Bale's card up yet. So let's look at this Ferran Torres card. Um, yeah, he, he's nice and easy to put together. It's obviously a massive upgrade to his card. It's a very good card. I think a Maestro on him is super nice. 97 rated cam, 4 star, 4 star. Good card in general. Uh, the Marksman card could be super useful as well. At this stage in FIFA, obviously... Every card has to be jacked up to this sort of level to just be even relatively useful. But yeah, I, I like him a lot. And then uh, Leroy Sané, a big upgrade on his 91 SBC card. Six dribbling, six defending, seven physical, eight passing, six shooting. This Sané card is very good. With a maestro, he's a 97 striker, a 98 across the board in the rest of the attacking spots, and a 97 right mid and left mid. He's got ridiculous stats. With a sniper, perfect shooting. I mean, his stats, even, even if we just don't, you know, look at no stat boost at all. 96 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. High to mid 90s in all of the shooting stats. Super, super high passing stats. 95 stamina. 
unbelievable dribbling stats. I mean, this card is absolutely phenomenal. No question about that. And it is ridiculously easy to get via objectives. And th this, again, is what I just want more of. It's so easy to get this Sané. You need some German goals in wins, some Bundesliga goals, and then a Premier League goal, whatever it was. And it's one of those things where it's like, if there were like 15 or 20 of these players to play for, I would probably start putting squads together, then using these players to put into new squads to build towards other players and stuff. But when it's just one player, you, you can kind of like shoehorn it real quick, real easy, get it done, and then be like, okay, what's next? And that for me is where the problem is. But yeah, four-star, four-star on this Sané. Um, they've upgraded his weak foot, which is good. I want to look at that uh, Ferran Torres card, actually, and see if they've upgraded his uh, skill moves or weak foot at all. So, yeah, they've upgraded his skill moves by one. You've got the Hakim Ziyech card, five-star, four-star, instead of his five-star, two-star. So, a really, really big upgrade for him. And then his uh, team of the season card at Ajax is five-star, three-star. So, this 96 coming in at five-star, four-star is pretty good. And it has different stats to the team of the season card as well, which is quite interesting. I think, again, for him, I'll go Maestro. 98 rated cam with five star four star on him that is genuinely brilliant card might even go an engine you know like 91 finishing 99 shot power and positioning 99 for curve long pass short pass crossing and vision acceleration agility balance reactions ball control and dribbling and stamina all 99 rated that is a phenomenal card like an absolutely phenomenal card um and his team of the season was actually brilliant as well i, I remember using him promes van der beek and a few other uh tagliafico and that martinez sbc or objective card in one of the weekend leagues that i played in right before i stopped playing fifa and uh he was brilliant so yeah that 96 rated card guys is fantastic 93 douglas costa compared to his foot birthday he's got two pace four shooting three passing three dribbling four defending five physical he's five star four star where of course his foot birthday is five star five star um but i still think for a mid-season card this is a brilliant one. You could put an engine on him and get great stat boost. I think you're probably going to want to put that sniper on him to get him up to 93 finishing. I mean, 91 stamina is good. His passing is okay. And then his shooting, dribbling, and pace are absolutely brilliant with the five-star, four-star. I like that card a lot. And then Eric Bailly here. Again, I think an anchor chem star for him. It takes him to 99 in heading, defending, standing, slide tackle, aggression, strength, and jumping. 98 interceptions. His short passing is good enough. His dribbling is good enough. His pace is very good. I mean, you could bang a shadow on him and get that pace up to 99, that defending up to 99, that physical is already so good. That's also quite a, an appropriate chem style. Um, and then hopefully we'll have this uh, Gareth Bale and Nagby card. There's Nagby in there. So the Gareth Bale card, is it, is it there yet? Oh, they still haven't got Gareth Bale's card up there just yet. So Darlington Nagby, um, he's been given a monster boost. And I'm telling you guys, you can play this card literally anywhere. He wouldn't be the best centre-back in the world, um, but his his dribbling stats are, are pretty damn good. I think a dead-eye for him. Yeah, you could, you could genuinely play him at striker. Four-star, four-star. Um, great pace. Unbelievable dribbling. 99 shot power, 96 finishing and positioning. Brilliant physicals. Great strength. Good aggression. Um, it, again, doesn't matter really what chem style you put on this guy. It will make him applicable for one position or another. You know, whether that be a a winger or a cam, a CDM or something along those lines, like with a Sentinel chem style, he goes up to a 95 rated centre back. And then with a dead eye, he goes up to a 94 rated striker. Um, you know, you, you genuinely got the luxury of using this guy anywhere. And then when we look at the USA players that are in the game, Opara, the Sabi card, if you went and got him. And who's the other one? Yeah, Sergeant, Agudelo, uh, McKenney's card there. Obviously, Pulisic has got the uh, Summer Heat card. Uh, the Robinson centre-back, Hamid the goalkeeper. Like, there are plenty of brilliant Americans that you can put together. I think EA did a really good job on America and on Japan this year on giving, like, super usable players. Um, so other than that, it is just that Gareth Bale card that isn't currently in the uh, in the database for some reason or another here. Um, yeah, it's only got the two new SBCs. And other than that, the, uh, you know, the Sané is brilliant. The Torres is nice and cheap. There's not a lot else going on here. Uh, I don't know how this is still 2.3 million for an 83 rated squad. Somebody's having a laugh somewhere along the lines. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the content for today, guys. So the final season in FIFA 20, there's some good stuff in there for sure. But I think generally speaking, once again, it's a little bit underwhelming. And uh, probably for me, not enough to get me back interested in playing. I also believe that this is now the final weekend league on FIFA 
Um, so even after this weekend, there's there's just no more to play for. That's it. Oh, they've added two more. Wow, that is very surprising. So this isn't the final weekend league. So there's two more weekend leagues. So there's still some time to play. That's going to take you all the way through into the middle of September. Um, they, those weren't there last time. And this this week last year was the last weekend league. So they've added two more at the very least. I wonder if they keep weekend league open all the way through till FIFA 21. I don't see why not. There's not really a lot else going on. Um, but yeah, there you go. You've actually got some reason and some value to play with though you know that sane card or that torres card or whatever it may be but that is going to be the end of the video for today guys if you did enjoy it be sure to leave a like rating comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys i'm out peace